Hey guys, Cast One here. I'm gonna show you guys a way that I painted my own blinks. Now I did five of them today, and this one is uh, silver to to uh, baby blue. I really haven't made an official color for it, and um, and it's on the dryer right now, and the, with a clear coat. <clears throat> so the clear coat that I do use is. Where is it at here? What an epic fail. Anyway, <clears throat> that's the clear coat I use. It's a two part clear coat you can get off Amazon. It is very expensive. It's about $20 a can. And um, what I do use for the, uh, the paints is a combination. I'll use um, the uh, Perfect Match from uh, DupliColor and um, I'll use the Krillon Fusion. Now I like the Fusion because Supposedly with plastic, so with the form of graphite, it has some flex quality to it and won't, hopefully won't crack. I do have, this is that baby blue that that came out of. So we're going to test that later on and I'll give you follow up everything. So when you're painting, you want to sand down your blank and you're going to sand down your blank and you're going to clean it off with rubbing alcohol uh, or denatured alcohol. And... So you're going to sand it down, clean it off, and start spraying. I put mine in a dryer to make sure that it is, it is um, uh, applying evenly. And this is, just a uh, this is just a dryer that I came up with. Um, I, you know, I do a lot of different things with different motors and stuff. So this is just a regular old dryer. It's only like a 6 RPM and it comes up to a stand now the stand is made with a ball bearing and a nail and the nail is filed down so that it fits right into the hollow part of the blank see if i can get you guys to zoom in like that see and it is attached because this is also a rest i just have some dowels in there see if i can get you guys to see the dowels it just rests in there for when i'm using it for spraying so this is going to dry and I've done a lot of different colors. I've done uh, the Chrysler red and metallic copper, baby blue, hammered silver. Let's see here. Universal chrome, which I was really, really hoping that it would turn out something like that. Didn't do that. Um, it did look pretty chrome in the beginning until... I hit it with the clear coat and it toned it down back to a silver. Um, satin brick, uh, Honda blue green, I guess. So here's the blanks that are done and finished. Um, here is a copper red. So that has the red in there with that copper, you know, splotches in there. This was supposed to be silver, it's almost white but it's more of a gray now. Okay, it looks good. Um, this one is, I just call it the Mater Rod. Mater from like Disney's cars because the customer who was getting that um, is getting a Mater themed rod. So it's got some copper, it's got some red, it's got some blues, it's got some greens, just like all about what uh, Mater is all about. And then here is hammered. Um, so zoom in, man. Focus, focus, focus. It's not gonna focus for me. Well, that's hammered silver, which is pretty, very pretty. So uh, I wish I can really show you guys that. There it is, really pretty. So, you know, easy way to paint your rods. Now, how well will it go with the flex test and how I build on it? Um, doing some studying and learning about how I'm doing it. I'm hope it sounds like it's going to work. So I'll keep you informed if anything different, if they start cracking or anything like that. So these are just some cheap rods. The finish wasn't the greatest on there. So I'll paint these up and sell them for a good price. Um, oh, the propane torch. You're going to need the propane torch when you're spraying your clear coat on just like epoxy. Cause that is like a two part, um, this is like a two-part epoxy spray paint, if I as close as I can get think about it. 
and man, my phone does not want to zoom in. Um, so yeah, I used a propane torch, just quick whoosh, over it, get any uh, air bubbles and to get it to smooth out right and looking good. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Uh, I know I haven't posted in a while. It's been hectic around here with the COVID crap. But I um, hope everybody's doing well and staying healthy. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.